guys, what's up? It's me, MJ Fangirl. Welcome back to another video. I thought it would be cool to just come on here and have a casual chat. It seems that you guys are liking these more casual chats and I like them too because they're kind of a lot easier for me to film and they're just very laid back. Um, a lot of fun to do. So first on the agenda, we have to talk about the news that has come out about this Michael Jackson biopic teaser. Yes, five days ago now, um, or is it five days ago? It might have even been a week ago now. The, the first teaser at the Michael Jackson biopic dropped at CinemaCon. And I'm gonna be reading you guys an article and sharing some of my thoughts about it. Um, but first, before we get into that, I just wanna let you guys know, if you did not know, number one, I just um, dropped one of our recent YouTube episodes on Spotify. The podcast name is Club 30s with MJ Fangirl, and we're going to be having some of our regular episodes on there, so definitely check them out. Any talking head videos that are like this um, are probably going to be also on MJ Fangirl's podcast on Spotify, but if not, um, make sure that you are subscribing because we're also going to have some specific episodes that are Club 30s exclusive so you're gonna definitely want to be subscribed and hopefully that can kick off um in a couple weeks to months here i'm just getting all my ducks in a row and recording and planning something so i'm really really excited about that so make sure that you go and you follow club 30s by mj fangirl on spotify if you have not done so yet so next up um but i wanted to talk to you guys about um who's bad who's bad is um, a band that's dear to my heart because number one, I discovered them shortly after Michael Jackson passed away and I have gone to see Michael Jackson live. I saw him live in 2001 at Madison Square Garden in um, for the 30th anniversary show. Uh, actually, I went to the September 10th show. It's like my third day of high school, so I remember it very clearly. I never got to see Michael Jackson at like his peak which was like the 80s 90s i never got to see him live and so seeing who's bad was such a treat because number one they play live band music there's like an actual band there's a bass player guitarist drummer saxophone player on the stage playing along um, they do also use a track for some of the songs as well but just that is in a, is electrifying in and of itself right then um, usually they play at like venues that have a mix of standing room the general admission plus like the VIP seats and standing just in the crowd amongst other Michael Jackson fans or amongst other music fans listening to Michael's music so loud is just uh, it's very like it's energizing it's invigorating it really like feeds my soul when I feel like I miss Michael's music and the essence of him and um, they do sing live as well as um, dance so it's like a full-on production there's dancers there's a lead um, shout out to Talib York he's actually the first MJ that I had ever seen uh, when I went to go see who's bad and then there was James time who is now known as Light, who has now branched off to do his own thing. And he's going to be coming out with his own show called It's Dangerous. So there's a lot to be said about tributes. And um, those are just a couple of my favorites. But I wanted to mention Who's Bad because I went to go see them. I did a giveaway with them. I was super excited to capture some content to share with you guys. And also, I'm super excited because I'm, you guys, someone that has not been good at printing pictures. Especially since I had my daughter, like I felt like I need to create more of like a tangible way of holding on to my memory. So I was super excited when I got in touch with Kodak and they sent me their new camera. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. They have a bunch of new camera printer hybrids and this is one of them. Let me take it out of the case. This is the MS400 and it is not only a camera. Yes, I know you're like, where's the camera part? The screen comes up here. It's a camera but it also prints. 
and it's Bluetooth enabled and you can not only take pictures with this, it has like a little flash and everything, you can take pictures and print it straight off of here, but the reason really why I wanted this is because I can print my cell phone fo taken photos uh, and then print them on here. Hold on, let's just watch it, okay? My invention. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just, I think it's such a cool idea that all of these like retro type of photo um, like cameras and stuff are coming back. This is what the box looks like. I know a lot of us love anything retro because duh, we're huge Michael Jackson fans. So um, definitely make sure you guys check that out in the link down below. Um, I'm going to be linking it in my Amazon storefront. Now let's get into this Michael Jackson biopic news. Okay, so here's the 411 and the scoop on the Michael Jackson biopic trailer. So, CinemaCon is a sort of conference event for movie theater owners, and they got to see a first glimpse at the Michael Jackson biopic a couple days ago in Las Vegas, and I'm actually going to be reading to you part of this article from People, and I want to share with you guys the article and some of the facts, and then we can get back and talk about it. So, on Wednesday, movie theater owners at CinemaCon got an exciting sneak peek at director Antoine Fuqua's Michael, out April 18th, 2025, which stars the King of Pop's nephew Jafar Jackson as the music legend and is in currently in production. So here they share a little clip or a snippet of what was said in the teaser. Michael, you have a very special light, so light your light, so let your light shine onto the world, MJ's mom Catherine. Nia Long says in a voiceover, the first footage showed the icon with the Jackson 5 with Giuliano Cruvaldi as young Michael, and then in concert doing all the smooth moves fans know and love. And in case you're wondering, Jackson has his uncle look and dancing down pat. So now they get into who's playing Michael Jackson. If you did not know, and if this is your first time on this channel, definitely go and check out my biopic playlist. I have a whole playlist of videos where I talk specifically about the biopic because this is going to be big and there's going to be a lot of information that we're going to be talking about. So if you're into that, definitely make sure that you are checking that biopic playlist down below as well. Um, and so Lionsgate did their own segment and I guess the, one of the standout segments of this entire CinemaCon was the Michael presentation. And the producer, Graham King, he also did Bohemian Rhapsody. It says here that he promised the biopic would cover Michael Jackson's musical successes, including more than 30 songs. 30 songs, that's huge, and his controversies, which, bravo to them for covering everything. There are biopics, he said, and then there is Michael, who called him an enigma full of eccentricities. That was a tongue twister. Graham King says, Jackson was a simple man who lived a complicated life. When you mention his name, everyone has an opinion of him, and so far, putting his life on screen has been a daunting task, to say the least. Okay, so um, then it just goes into another fact, which I'll share just in case this is your first video watch, uh, that you're watching about the Michael Jackson biopic movie. The Michael cast also includes Oscar nominee Coleman Domingo as family patriarch Joe Jackson, Miles Teller as attorney John Branca, Cat Graham as Diana Ross, and Lorenz Tate as Barry Gordy. Domingo told USA Today earlier this year that he was still exploring what he loves about Joe Jackson and the one thing he has found was so far how strong he was. So number one, I think it's very interesting that they shared um, the fact that my, uh, Jafar Jackson was on point. Uh, I think a lot of us knew that he was going to be on point, but now I think for other people to see this um, that don't know Jafar and they're seeing him in the makeup and the costume and saying how like much he embodies Michael and sounds just like him and whatever that to me is 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 big you know because I know that that was one of the big things right I I don't know if it was Graham King or Anton Fuqua that had said that hey they said I would never find someone to play Michael and um, he'd been working on this movie for the last seven years 
And he said, and I did. And so I, I think everybody is super excited behind the scenes about the fact that Jafar is playing Michael. Um, I also have seen in many articles that they say that there's at least one family member that's on set every single day. And I believe that to be Prince Jackson because I know that that was one of the things that um, he was going to be heavily involved in the biopic. So I think that's really special. Uh, and I'm just, I cannot wait. I think that I had seen some people talking about, um, you know, makeup and CGI and how they're going to do this, right? Because this is looking at Michael's life from the beginning and I believe all the way until the end. And so I even saw that they had cast, um, there was someone announced um, that was cast as Paris Jackson as I guess when she was eight or nine or something like that. I'm not sure of the age, age but... Um, they're going to take this all the way from the beginning to the end of Michael's life and career. And so there's a lot to cover. Um, I also saw that it was not in this article, but supposedly the movie is going to be three hours flat. So it's going to be nice and long, lots of time for us to delve deep into the movie. I also wanted to say, you guys, it's so funny because there have been leaked clips leaking. And I said in my last video that there were going to be no more clips leaking. There was another clip that leaked. Someone was like looking above um, from their balcony and like captured a part of the movie being shot. And I was just like, you guys. But I don't think he was a fan. He was just like a normal person that was like, hey, looks like they're filming like something from the 70s or the 80s down below. And like, I think people caught on and was like, oh, that's the Michael Jackson biopic. So uh, yeah, I, I, I'm very curious to hear what you guys think about the teaser. Um, Comment down below. When do you guys think we're going to see this? I'm not even sure what's customary in the movie world. Like, how far ahead will we get to see a teaser? I remember, like, the last thing that I remember being excited about is, like, The Little Mermaid and them showing us maybe, like, six or seven months before the biopic a, a teaser trailer. So, do you think maybe we can get something around the holidays? Maybe a little before that? Like, it would be dope if they showed us something around Halloween since that's, like, Michael's. That's his territory, thriller, you know? Halloween is like Michael Jackson holiday, so I feel like that would be cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm excited. They're going to be filming in Neverland this week, according to what I read on Twitter. So yeah, the movie, it looks like it's going full steam ahead, and I can't wait to see it. Um, yeah, so anyway, I think that's it for me in this video. I just wanted to do a casual sit-down chat with you guys. Comment down below on any of the stuff that I shared in this video. Comment if you guys have ever gone to see Who's Bad. Do you guys have another favorite tribute artist? And also, if you're interested in the Kodak Mini Shot Era 4, this is a Bluetooth printer. It's a camera all-in-one. And um, I really enjoy printing the, camera, the stuff from my phone. Haven't really taken many shots on the camera. I did try a couple indoors, and it looks like it might do better in outdoor lighting. Um, but I love so far what I've been able to print from um, the concert and like from other stuff just around the house. So, and that's been all stuff that's been captured on my phone again. So, cool way to store your memories. See you guys later. And thank you to Kodak. Bye.